good morning um welcome back <clears throat> sorry i'm whispering i'm home um spring break is almost over but today i just had to vlog a little bit probably be like two days but i'm getting my covid vaccine today i'll explain more about that later but you guys will get to join me along while getting that so yeah sorry my face is really red right now i'll see you guys later oh, i'm getting my covid vaccine round three it's 11 so See you then. Okay, so I just finished um, filming a voiceover for my symposium script because I don't think I'll be able to do it after I get my shot just because it's due tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll do that and then basically just have my shot in a few hours. So, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Sorry if you can't hear me. I'm sorry. Um, basically, it was really good. I got the Moderna, if anyone was wondering. The reason why I could get it is because I work at the Y, if everyone knows from my other videos, childcare. So that's the reason why I could get it, because it opened up in my state for childcare, so my mom and I could both go get it, and my sister can get it when she turns 18, because that's when they're offering it for them. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <coughs> Not COVID, but I got, I got my vaccine. Um, it was a really small needle, so for anyone who's wondering how big the needles, and it doesn't hurt going in, so like, everything's good there. I had a really nice lady for it, so shout out to her. I don't know what her name is, but shout out to her. And, um, you usually, you have to wait 15 minutes after you get your shot to come back. I had to wait 30, because I had a anaphylactic reaction when I was 9 to a bee sting, and because it caused me to go to the hospital, you have to wait 30 minutes, so... I had to wait 30 minutes instead of 15, which wasn't that bad, but it's fine. Um, my arm feels a little heavy. They said give it five hours after you get your shot and then you'll start feeling the pain. But usually that's all you feel is the pain. Um, I'm out of breath, sorry. But yeah, other than that, it's not that bad. Um, you might get a headache, might get fever symptoms. I don't know, but usually they say it's just the arm pain and that's it. So I will check back with you guys later to see how it's going. But other than that, the whole reason why I could get the vaccine was because I work in childcare and I'm very thankful I do because otherwise I would have to wait until May 1st to get it. And that's just a little late because my family wants to get the vaccine in order to go on vacation this summer to hopefully like limit our reactions to getting COVID as best as possible. So yeah, and now I have to wait 28 days before I can get my next vaccine, so basically a month. I have to wait in order to get my next one, so we'll wait the 28 days, and then I will get round two, and that's the round that's supposed to, like, kick you out, but yeah. That's basically it. Um, I will check back in later. I will let you guys know if any symptoms occur, and if you guys have any more questions about the vaccine, I can try to answer them as best as possible, but the reason why I got the vaccine, at first I was a little hesitant because, well, most people are, but my mom was doing some research on it and she wasn't sure at first for getting it for us just because of different health concerns in our family. And then she has a lot of doctor friends and she talked to them and they said, it's completely fine. You're not gonna get like horribly sick. So we were, we're all for getting the vaccine. It's okay if you're not for it yet, but there is plenty of research that has gone into it um, compared to like what people say the reason why it got pushed out so fast was because more people volunteered to get it instead of other vaccines that get tested not as many people volunteer as fast so despite what everyone says yes it did take it took a short amount of time but they went through the same amount of testing as a normal vaccine does so there's that but i'm very thankful i got it so far nothing i got in my left arm to so my right because i use my right for everything and um i'm gonna try to still do some homework and we'll see how it goes i'll get i'll update you guys later tonight try around the five hour mark just to let you know what happens and then i'll update you guys tomorrow all day tomorrow just if anything else happens and we'll see but right now i'm fine and i'll keep giving you guys the updates so i'll see you guys then hi sorry i look like poop but i just want to give you an update i last updated you around like 4 30 or so so like an hour after i got the shot somewhere around there and it is now 9 52 so like 
I don't know how many hours it is, nine, five? I, I don't know. My arm hurts like a little bit when you raise it, but not too bad. It's a little warm to the touch compared to this arm, but not too bad. Like, I don't feel anything else, like, other than that. So it's, it's all good there. So who knows what will happen? Like, it, it's a little sore, but like, after sleeping, it might be worse. Um, but basically, that's it. I'm gonna give you guys a little springtime haul of stuff I shopped for the other day. There's only two things, but yeah. Let's, let's do that. First off, I needed new joggers. So, I got these cute ones. Okay, so like mine ripped, sadly. So like I need new ones, like they have flowers embroidered in them, like how stinking cute. They're from Old Navy, so like, deal. Then let me get the other thing. But I got this cute little sundress. From old navy they come in all different prints my sister got one like the cute little dot print like you know what's going around but it's just like a little black on dress you know cute i love it so there's my little springtime haul for you that's all i got sorry um that's basically it yeah my covid update nothing's really happened um pray for me tonight it's that time of year again in Wisconsin where spiders are crying, climbing up your drains and up your walls. There's one right over there. So let's hope I don't get attacked by a spider. But I'll see you guys tomorrow and give you an update on my arm. Peace out. Peace. Hi guys, it is now 1.30 the next day. Um, sorry, I am getting comfortable. I have to do some homework, but... I feel perfectly fine, no headache, no symptoms, no nothing, just like a sore arm, but like I can lift it all the way up. It just kind of feels like I got punched in the arm. So when I'm all vaccine, I wouldn't be afraid of it. It wasn't honestly that bad at all. I'm just doing some homework, getting some pictures uploaded, like that, you know, follow my photography page if you want to. Never mind, don't, but you can if you want to. I'm at Lelks Photography on Instagram, but basically that's all I'm doing. So guys, don't be afraid to get the shot. That's all I have to say. It's not that bad, honestly. Maybe the second dose is, but the first one's not bad at all. And then, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. I do a lot of college vlogs and just different stuff. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.